placement nope. for the uh, cuff on the burrito pillowcase. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hoop and think about the direction that my letters are going in. So when I look at the hoop, it plugs into the embroidery bed here, but my letters, the top of my letters is here. So I'm going to actually turn my hoop and I'm going to place it on the cutting mat so that I line up the little marks on the hoop, the centering marks, with the lines on the cutting mat so that when I come back with it folded, I can unfold it and know where my center of my hoop is. Over here, I have my cuff. It's been pressed in half. So this will be my embroidery area. I want this to end up with the wrong side being stabilized with my embroidery area on top and centered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this part, which will be on the inside of my pillowcase, and I'm gonna fold it up out of the way. Next, I'm going to take that piece And I'm going to bring this outer edge over to the middle. And I'm going to line it up with the center line. Then I'm going to take the top, my fold, and bring it down to the raw edge. But I'm going to leave my quarter inch seam allowance out of the equation. Now I know that this is the center line of my design. This is the center line of my design. And the exact point of the center is right here. I can then pick up my whole piece, bring it over to my lines here, and plunk it down like this and unfold. Following my lines and unfold again. and unfold again. So now I have my embroidery area hooped, centered. I'll take it to the machine based around my design and let it rip.